So we just exited the Rama 9 MRT station and we're checking out a relatively new Chinese restaurant here at Fortune Town. Fortune Town is a big mall of like computer and IT and photography and music stuff. So today we're gonna try out Jin Long House. It used to be like a salad place, I think. But apparently no one wants to eat healthy. <clears throat> Let's do a quick look at the menu here. Oh, they got some dim sum, but it's pretty expensive. That's expensive dim sum, 100 baht for three pieces. Yeah, that's too much, I think. This place might go out of business. Oh, but this seems okay. Fried tofu. I'll let you pause and read. They have English and uh, Thai text on this thing, so I think you can figure it out if you can read English. Mm, uh, good photography on this menu, though. Mapo tofu, that's good stuff. Oh, some Sichuan. I, uh, I have a feeling this place might be good. It's a smaller dish. Interesting. Some hot pots. Okay, it's definitely worth a look. <laughs> they have some specials out here. They have that herbal ch Chinese tea, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's all uh, new, so very clean. Yeah, I don't know about the salted egg thing. That's not really my thing. I don't really like, you know, salty eggs. Oh boy, it's a lot if you're into salty eggs. And we have a 99 baht menu here. Looks like uh, mushrooms, pak choy, cabbage, same stuff here. And then uh, some used true money and Krung Sui accounts. Oh, I have one. Alright, we'll come back after we get some food here. Alright, I got a refill of iced tea, oolong tea. Here are the utensils, they come in a plastic bag, so that's sanitary. There's also a bell here on the table if you want to get really fast service or something. So one dish came already, we got some uh, Chinese eggplant stir fry with some pork or chicken. Let me see what this tastes like. I think that chicken was in there by accident. This is definitely pork down here, I think. Okay, so already it's pretty good. We got a little bowl of rice. Mm. Yeah. The eggplant isn't overcooked. You know, it's not extremely soggy. It's not falling apart. But it's not hard either, so it's really well done. Whoever's cooking here is doing a good job. I want to say is it has a lot of uh, umami, very rich flavor. It's not too salty. Even though there's a little chili in here, it's not spicy at all. So this one is not a Szechuan style dish. It's very mild. But yeah. Hmm. It tastes fresh. Very good. Yeah, we get this kind of dish at Chinese restaurants all the time, and uh, this one's good for sure. So we got two more dishes coming, but uh, you'll learn you'll learn in this country, dishes come out as they're made. They don't bring everything out at once because they want the food to be hot and fresh. So you just get to eat whatever dish they bring out first. That's just the way it is in Asia, I guess. 
So now we had the fried tofu show up. And this is interesting. The tofu chunks are so small. Let me put this camera down. Like, here's my finger. All right, they're really small uh, pieces. Wow, that's hot. So that came right out of the fryer. That's uh, temperature wise, still really hot. So really freshly fried. And then it's got the saltiness and the, the garlic flavor there. There's some scallions chopped up and then fresh red chili peppers. Yeah, this is a good one. Very often you get uh, the big, these fried tofus and the chunks of tofu are so big that they're all soggy inside. The problem is I'm having a hard time with these super slick plastic chopsticks. I would prefer wooden ones. Yeah, so I guess you could just go over to a fork. But yeah, this is good because it's, it's got saltiness and uh, garlic flavor and then it's fried. So this is even better than the eggplant. Now we have a hot pot of tofu and pork that's still boiling, so I might have to, well, I can at least mix it up here. There's some um, chili peppers, uh, enoki mushrooms. This tofu is pretty soft, as I could just cut it. This is the mala flavor, so it's uh, spicy and it's really good actually. It's a watery broth though. Yeah, that's a good good soup for sure. And let's see if these chopsticks work again. So this cabbage, pork, and mushrooms. Green, big, I don't know, maybe that was a green onion, maybe, or a leek. Piping hot. good. Uh, I've never had a bad mala soup, so they're all, they're all good. Mala, mala soups. But for me, I think the tofu is the best one. Alright, well, I don't know what those dishes are. But that's what the bill is coming out to. 516 baht. <clears throat> if you live in this country and you have a Krungsi account, the discount at 10% apparently. So the computer. Oh, okay. So it's definitely an awesome restaurant. I'm going to come back for sure and try out the uh, stir fried beans that you just saw on the TV right there. And uh, probably the Mabo tofu. Alright, well thanks for watching today. Come check this place out. Later.